Well, especially after today, a lot of us are looking ahead to summer festivals, stadium events, and travel. But what will it take for our favorite events to return to normal? And what will be asked of you? Jenna Sachs looks into one possibility in tonight's Contact 6 report. Do you remember how to play it? It's been a while. There you go. If music brings people together, it's no surprise the cheap shots are finding gigs hard to come by. For live musicians, for live music venues, it's just devastating. Of the 20 festivals the Milwaukee cover band booked in 2020, yeah. every one was called off. Looking ahead at 2021, our calendar is full, but we may not have any of those shows. So what will it take for the city of festivals to reopen its gates or for the crowds to return to Lambeau Field? Bucks President Peter Fagan says proof of vaccination may be coming to Pfizer Forum. I do think the future is going to be those who are vaccinated will have access to, to seating protocols that might be different than those who are not. But would proof of vaccination fly at State Fair or Summerfest. I think it's a case by case basis. Attorney William Salton says venues must weigh the importance of access with their obligation to keep people safe. And if they fail to do so, they could be subject to liability. Can it legally be done? Yes. In terms of whether we should be doing this as a society, I really think that's a political question. Whether it's likely is another question. I can't imagine it happening at any of the festivals that we play. With festival season months away, venues are hesitant to make predictions. The Wisconsin State Fair says it will be focused on heightened safety measures and is continuously monitoring the science, data, and statistics. The Packers tell us they haven't spoken at that level of detail, but will help spread the message of the importance of vaccination. Venues aside, there is one struggling industry looking at vaccination requirements as a possibility for revival. Yes, I've definitely heard that. Travel agent Jeannie Reuter says airlines are exploring the idea of health passports that verify negative test results and eventually vaccination status. If you're on the bubble of get about getting the vaccine and want to travel, get the vaccine. <laughs> For those on the festival circuit, it all depends on whether vaccinations amp up, cases go down, and if they can strike that right chord between safety and fun. Every festival, every venue wants to open and entertain. I'm Jenna Sachs, Contact 6. In a recent AAA survey, 31% said proof of vaccination would actually deter them from visiting a destination. 32% said it would encourage them, and 37% said it would have no impact on their decision.